came here, I flew in to give my man a award. I get to give this man an award. Now you know, you meet people and you say, this brother's about this or this sister's about that. Well, the brother I'm here to honor this evening is all about music. He was born Prince Rogers Nelson. And by the age of seven, he was playing the piano. It's just one of the many instruments he's mastered over the years. He's written songs for the most popular singers of the day and has gotten countless awards. This is the baddest man around. I mean, his life is a portrait of an artist and his symbol is synonymous with music. Now, uh, what can I do for you? I'm guest starring on the show tonight. Uh-huh, and uh, your name, sir? Ah, uh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm the artist formerly known as Prince. I ain't got no money. That's the artist, all right. The inscrutable musical genius, innovator, and spiritual quester who's been at the forefront of change in the pop music world for more than two decades. He was rock, he was R&B, he was dance, he was funky. He was alternative before alternative was alternative. He's always on the cutting edge. He's always out in front of everything. He's probably the only artist of the thousands I've met that really does it for himself. He doesn't care whether you and I like it. He does it because it's what's in here and here. The artist's passion for song began at an early age. When he was a baby, the brother cried on beat. He would actually skip school at Central and come over to North where I went to school and would always be in the music room uh, either playing, performing, or creating some kind of music. His friends and fellow musicians in Minneapolis knew that the artist was something special. Well, how often do you see a guy that can play everything? But not just play at it, but play everything good. Better than you play your instrument that you practice on every day. The artist's staggering grasp of instruments and musical styles, his risque lyrics and energetic performances catapulted him to fame in the 80s and influenced a new generation of performers. Can you say Rico Suave? He has the look and the, the moves that, that you go, how is he doing all that at one time? How can he possibly be singing that amazingly, playing, playing all that music that he wrote, by the way, and then have that amazing look going on too. And it wasn't that he just made it, it's that he made records that were totally different than anything else that was out there. The artist is one of the most prolific songwriters of the day and his single-minded ambition to make music led him to walk away from a hundred million dollar deal with Warner Brothers Records. But don't worry, he'll never be the starving artist. It's all about freedom for him. I was just wondering, would you ever consider working with a dummy? I already have. But in my business, they're called executives. He had the guts to walk into a record company and say, if I don't do it all, I don't want to be with you. Whoa, that's called confidence. Are you ready? Artists have always been interested in new technology. Da Vinci was, and so too is the artist. Last summer, in a groundbreaking marketing move, he became the first major artist to release his music solely on the Internet. Now, if we can only get the Internet in Compton. He uses the technology that's available to us, whether it be the internet, computers, whatever, but it never overshadows the main thing, which is the music. The music is the passion. He's not concerned with the chart game. He's not concerned with others who want to uh, suggest he's a hit or not a hit. He's concerned with the creativity and the music. You know, I'm a musician. I, I live for that. I live for playing and, and, and creating songs. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to give this Essence Awards to the baddest man in the land, the best live performer in the world, the best songwriter, the, the man of our time. Give it up for the artist. Come on.
thank you, um, Essence family. Thank you, Chris Rock, very much. I appreciate this. Once you get all the awards that um, they can bestow upon you, what counts is like so many people that have come up here, especially the honorees, have said that um, it really, it, it, all that really matters is you got to help somebody. You know, Larry Graham taught me so much. Larry, could you just stand up? That's a one in a million brother right there, Larry Graham. I learned so much from him musically, and then when I uh, met him, he's taught me so much about the truth. And uh, that is what led me to have a heart, led me to have a heart open enough to let my ego down and take directions from another one of my musical heroes, Shaka Khan. And like I say, when I get together with my brothers and sisters and we let our egos down and we sit in the room and we just discuss what the truth is, these are the things that come forth. And like I say, when all the awards stop, it's really about who you help and where, where, what you put in the bank of heaven, all right? Yeah. Again, Susan Taylor and the Essence family, thank you very much. And Chris Rock, forever love, brother.